So welcome back everybody. In our last video, part one of this, we were sharing about my first experience of being in the expanded state where I could be in a realm, um, a vibrational state that is part of Venus. And I've had many experiences in different star systems in certain frequency bands, but I find they always come when I'm not looking. <laughs> they always come when I can just be in that state of pure hearted, deep, meditative, surrender with no agenda. And then when I'm in that right frequency, it's like lock in. So I had my first experience with this beautiful gathering of 12 beings from different star systems and different um, levels within the Ascended Master Matrix and the Intergalactic Matrix. So the next time that I was in an expanded state or in deep meditation it was many years later in 2006. So this second meeting happened 12 years after the first and obviously my frequency had changed a lot and I was deeper, deeper into my um, work traveling around the world and meeting with so many beautiful people. But this time the stabilizing factor was not the um, beings from that realm, but it was the group I was meditating with. And they say when two, Jesus once said, when two or more are gathered in my name, I will be there. And when a group comes into deep meditation and they're tuned into that field of love energy, the I am pure love, the I am infinite, the I am eternal energy, and we are very heart brain coherent, not only can an individual in the group have the most amazing visionary capacity experiences, but many others in the group can as well. And we find in our gatherings, we'll have a, a 60 to 80% of the group will have these incredible experiences when we lock in and support each other vibrationally because of the compound effect and sympathetic resonance. So this second time, I found myself again coming back on the Venus section, vibrational frequency, you would call it fifth dimensional Venus, but we don't work with the idea of dimensions. We work with the idea of octaves or energy patterns or zones, a little different. And so I found myself again, walking up these stairs, being greeted by what I call Lord Arcturus, this beautiful being who teaches the higher light science and coming in again to that auditorium. Same group, 12 of them, and same energy. And very quickly, because they told me last time I have a permanent seat with them, so very quickly I could slide into my chair. I was being stabilized by the group meditating on Earth, stayed in that space. They showed me a hologram of Earth. And again, we shared a lot telepathically. Now, some people call telepathy thought transference, but there's no, transference requires almost timelines, but there's an instantaneous hookup. And you just know it's, I have to stress that telepathy is the cleanest communication you could ever imagine because there's no hidden thoughts. There's no duplicity. It's just, um, I'm aware of what they're thinking. They're aware of what I'm thinking. I don't have to control my thoughts because my thoughts are going to be natural in a way that they reflect the consciousness that I carry. So you can't even control your thoughts as some people suggest. You are thinking what you're thinking, which reflects how dominant is your pure nature and how much the pure nature is running the whole bio system. So our ability to hook in and stay hooked in is also dependent on the dominance of pure nature in the bio system as well, um, unless we are in a group situation which can help that. So with these beings at the end of our meeting, they gave me a scroll. They just handed me a classic scroll, white scroll rolled up with a red ribbon. And I understood telepathically that I had to give this to someone, which I learned later was a misunderstanding. 
So we can easily misunderstand many things, even when we're in, in these types of energy fields, because as a predominantly human being, we can interpret things in a slightly different way. So I come back out of this meditation. I have an etheric scroll. And I thought, okay, now I've got to give this to someone because I just saw myself as a simple messenger. No one of any great importance, just someone who's been sensitive to energy my whole life since I was a child, being vegetarian by the age of 12, 13, being a meditator, very young, spending a lot of time in silence right through my childhood where I could pick up on other energies. My brother dying when I was 14, being able to pick up his energy, starting to meditate at 16, 17, and able to talk to all the dead people that kept coming to visit me. This had been a long history part of my life. And so here I was feeling just like, okay, I'm used to being the messenger, receiving visions, receiving messages, passing them on. And that was my classic pattern limited one. <laughs> so for a while, I kept looking for who do I give this information, this energetic transference of, of information of this scroll to. And I couldn't meet, I didn't meet anyone. It didn't feel right, no matter what gathering I was with, no matter who I connected with. And I connect with a lot of beautiful beings on earth. I really do. I'm very blessed people who are very pure hearted and very switched on and very aware. But by about, I think it was about June, maybe May of 2007, again, I'm in deep meditation and just, ah, oh, and that frequency of love that is always there, of peace that's always there. And this voice came in lovingly and, and it just said, when are you going to open the scroll? <laughs> I went, what? It was for me? Ah, uh, duh, yes. <laughs> so I went back and just visualized this scroll and opened it. And there was very, very clear instructions to establish the embassy of peace officially on earth on the 7th of the 7th of the 7th, that there was magic in those dates and it had to be established on that day. And what the Embassy of Peace was about and that we would be receiving powerful programs from all our intergalactic friends. And that it was signed from the network was from the Intergalactic Federation of Worlds Council, the Lords of Peace of Venus, the Council of Twelve, the Ascended Master Matrix, the Divine Feminine Matrix, and a few others. And that it was an official permission from a number of different matrices of very high vibration, love, light, vibration beings who always operate for the highest good of each world when that world is ready in their heart of hearts to experience a different zone, when they're ready to experience the zone of peace and health and happiness and harmony and real unity consciousness and to thrive, to, to live as a fully realized being, as an authentic being, to live in a, in a rhythm that expresses our highest most divine potential. And so for me, it was like, oh, okay, all right. So I went about and did the things that I needed to do to bring the Embassy of Peace online out of the internet matrix and onto the internet matrix and then started to open up for the clarity about the programs we would bring. And the first program I realized that was needed to come in under the umbrella of the Embassy of Peace was the Luscious Lifestyle Program and then our 12 Pathways of Peace and also the Source Feeding 
prana program which has the potential to eliminate all health and hunger issues in our world along with the lifestyle. So that's just a little bit of history about the formation of the Embassy of Peace and the support matrix that is there that our affiliates when they come into this umbrella also are connected into to gain the wisdom directly and the love directly and the power directly not through me we do not have a hierarchy here on earth we just have individuals who are hooking up and many who come nearly everyone who comes is already part of that matrix anyway so it's a, just a joining together blending together of our patterns and our pre-agreed plans and to hook into this higher level of support more consciously so this is Jasmine sharing a little with you and I hope you found our stories beneficial for you. Many people have been emailing and writing and saying, oh, thank God, I realize I'm not crazy. You confirm so much. I've been going through the exact same thing. So we are just now consolidating a lot, confirming a lot that people are already tuning to as well. Thank you for sharing and, and taking the time to listen to our stories.